Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tan Foaming Water in Dark. And I already know what you guys are thinking because I typically don't like this type of product that's like clear because I think this is clear. I don't know 100% but I think it is and I'm very, very nervous praying it goes well because you know how it is with clear body self tanners but we'll see i have high hopes so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be talking about it reading up on the details trying it out seeing if i think it's worth your money so before we do all that please please give this a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it would mean the world to me and you get three videos a week so thank you so much if you do but if you want to see me review this self tanner then stay tuned for the rest of the video all right guys, so as usual, I have this pulled up on the website, so I'm gonna read up on all of the details. So again, this is the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tan Foaming Water. I got it in the shade dark, so I'm really, really hoping it gives me good color. I have already tried the face version of this, and I love it. I've been using it so, so much lately because I love the color it gives me. I love the consistency of it. I just love everything about it. So I'm really, really hoping that this gives me a similar result to that. So this has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it, which I'm also very excited about because I feel like not as many body products have that as much as face ones do. So nice to know that I'm putting that stuff on my body. And this is 6.76 fluid ounces, even though it doesn't quite look like it. But so basically the standard. So awesome. I have it pulled up on Ulta, so I'm just gonna read up on the details. Like I said, I got it in the shade dark. Goes for $27. And then for the description on it, it says pure self tan foaming water combines Bondi Sands iconic golden glow with skincare first ingredients. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and vitamin E. With an innovative spring free foam pump, this lightweight, transparent, self-tanning, foaming water creates the perfect foam texture for ease of application on the skin, which I'm so interested in because it literally just looks like this would like come out like a water. So for the benefits, it says lightweight, transparent, self-tan, foaming water, so it is clear, creates the perfect foam texture for ease of application on skin, hyaluronic acid for hydration, vitamin C for radiance, vitamin E for rejuvenation, colorless fragrance free formula is quick drying and gentle enough for sensitive skin develops in six to eight hours no wash off required spring free foam pump it's 100 percent recyclable plastic packaging uh never streaky never orange dermatologically tested cruelty free vegan no parabens and sulfates fragrance and dye free all the best things so for the how to use it just says okay already messed up for best results, do not shake product prior to use. And here I am like talking with my hands and shaking the bottle, so I'm gonna stop. It says empty space in the bottle is required to create the foam. Okay, that makes sense. For an even streak-free tan, ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated, and free of any moisturizers. Check, but I did put moisturizer on my dry spots. I always do. Squeeze Bondi Sands Pure Self Tan Foaming Water directly onto the skin. Use your application mitt and long sweeping motions to blend onto the legs, arms, and body. And yeah, basically pretty much the same application process as everything else. And I'm still shaking the bottle. I can't stop. Anyways. Let me see if there's anything else I want you guys to know. Not really. Pretty much says the same thing on here. So I, like I said, I'm pretty nervous about this because if you've been with me for a while, you know how I feel about clear self tanners for the body. They just never work out for me the way I want them to and they always end up being streaky because you don't have a color guard to show you where you're missing a spot. So a lot of times, you're like tan and then there's like a patch like here for example of just like pale so i'm hoping that that doesn't happen we will see hoping for the best expecting the worst so <laughs> so we're just gonna get started and then once i have applied everything we'll talk details so let's just start applying
Okay guys, I just applied to everywhere I wanted you to see and I actually really really like how it felt going on my skin like I was surprised at how nice and smooth it all went on like it just feels really moisturizing and good a lot more than most other ones which like really 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 surprised me and I am obsessed with this packaging I genuinely was not expecting it to actually come out like a foam I thought it was gonna come out like a water and then it like builds up on like into a foam as you're scrubbing it in I don't know why I had that in my head but I was not expecting it to do this like that is really cool so I love 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 the packaging I love how it feels going on my skin and even right now like I wouldn't say it's quick drying but it doesn't feel sticky it just feels like I put moisturizer on my skin so it feels really good love the application I love how moisturizing it is but I hate 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 that i can't see where it's going like i'm literally i really tried to pay attention and make sure that i covered all my bases and got every area that i wanted to cover which is all of me of course but i don't know like i never know until the next day once the color is developed whether or not i missed a spot and then at that point it's too late so that's just really the only thing that sucks like i understand for some people a uh, transparent self tanner is more practical, it's easier, whatever the case may be. But I, I would honestly rather deal with sleeping with like a dark, messy self tanner on for one night to have like a perfect, even, seamless color. So not a fan of it being transparent, but other than that, I'm excited. The smell though, it has a smell. I know it says it's fragrance free, but it literally smells like cardboard for some reason. I don't know why. And I, I'm not really a fan of it. So for the most part, I am pretty excited about this. I'm really excited to see how dark it's going to get me because this is the dark. So I am going to sleep with this on. And then tomorrow morning, once I wake up, I'll wash it off, my usual routine. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the final results. See how streaky or not streaky it is. And then I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth your money. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I am back. Here is what the final result looks like. And as you can see by the smile on my face, I'm actually really, really surprised at how much color I got from this. I was not expecting this in the slightest bit. I seriously thought I was gonna wake up this morning and I was gonna have like hardly any color. It was gonna be streaky all over the place. And I just thought it was gonna be a total mess. So when I woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror, I literally was like, what? <laughs> like I was shocked. Because first of all, the color is dark. And second of all, not streaky. I was looking at my entire body trying to find an issue with it. And there's none. Literally, usually I'll get like streakiness right here or like somewhere on my arms. Not this time. The only place that I had it, I guess that I forgot about until now, is on this hand right here. But I think that could be because I accidentally got it wet right there before I was meant to wash my hands. So that might be it. My fault, sorry, my cat is in the background if you hear anything. But yeah, I'm very, very, very surprised that this gave me as much color as it did and that it's not streaky for being a clear self tanner. So I am really, really liking this. The only thing that I will say I'm not the biggest fan of is it's giving off a little bit of an orangey undertone so i feel like most of my other self tanners that i use and i love and i've tried have more of like a brown like natural looking tan to them like this has like a hint of oranginess to it and it's throwing me off a little bit because I feel like with this one, as much as I love how dark it is and how not streaky it is, I feel like the oranginess of it is like kind of giving away that it's a self tanner. Like with a few of the other ones that I've tried, you'd never even think that they're like self tanner. You'd think I was like tanning out in the sun. But with this one, I feel like it looks self tannery, if that makes sense. It's not the biggest problem, but I would definitely prefer something that makes me look more like of a natural tan so has its ups and its downs but i really do feel like i liked a lot of things about it and i loved 
the fact that like it's a water in there and then you squeeze it out onto the thing and it like turns into a foam i don't know why that was so cool to me in the moment but it's fun it was like fun to squeeze out onto the mitt <laughs> anyways so i have to say overall i do actually think that this is worth your money i think if you're someone that really prefers and likes clear self tanners i think if you're someone that wants a dark self tanner you're going to be really really happy with this because it does give you great color and if you are just watching where you're applying it's not going to make you streaky so i'm very 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 impressed in that aspect but also if you're someone that likes more of like that true brown like natural tan like out in the sun kind of tan then you might be a little bit bothered by like the hint of oranginess that this has like uh, like i said i prefer something that has a little bit more of a naturalness to it so that's the only thing that's throwing me off a little bit but i do think it's actually worth your money i do love how it turned out and i'm very pleasantly surprised at how it turned out so it's a yes from me like i don't remember a clear self tanner impressing me as much as this one has so that in itself is an exciting thing and yeah this is a yes from me especially if you're a clear self tanner person if you're a color guard person like me i have tons and tons and tons of self tanner video reviews on ones that are not clear so go check those out but if you're someone that likes clear self tanners this is a very very good one so it's a yes <laughs> so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to comment let me know your thoughts let me know if you see what i see with the oranginess because i am curious on what you guys are thinking too so give me your thoughts down below comment say hello give this a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video